tonight from State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Catch signaled for and taken successfully. A time for Mac Jones and his Patriot offense to take the field. Jones now in his second season since being selected 15th overall in 2021. This is what this man was born for the big spotlight on the national stage like this. Really, his entire career has been an incredible poise, no matter what type of situation his team was in. No situation is too big for him, and you can tell in the way that he takes the field. His self-belief is evident, and he gets the job done in his mind each and every time. Jet sweep to start the drive. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, I sure would be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end and he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. nine yards to pick up there at first down now jones and that is incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact brings up second down so second down still 10 yards to go ball on the 43. A run with a second year man. That's Ramondre Stevenson. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes we call them a hybrid combination defensive back combination linebacker we saw the linebacker make the stop throwing jones the connection here with nelson aguilar and the tackle going to be made at the 38 nothing fancy on first down but a very consistent type of a play hit that slant a lot of people call it an extension of the running game and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you yeah, can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Well, you hate that defensively. They had him pretty well corralled, but the face mask, that obviously changes things. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating because you feel like you did everything right. You had him stop, but the hand gets up just a little too high, and the natural inclination is to hold on and that's going to get called every time two yards on the pickup there it'll be second and eight <laughs> off the play fake jones and that'll be incomplete took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in couldn't hang on third down Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. Off play action, Jones. He's got it complete to Aguilar. And the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. 
Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. Harris will take this one in. Touchdown, Patriots. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me. I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game. Then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that makes the score 7-0. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Arizona's offense takes the field, and no surprises. The man that's guiding them, the Pro Bowler in his fourth season at the wheel of this offense, Kyler Murray. Drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together. We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. They had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. And he is going to have a card first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that's key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How would you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by the defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball to limit that game. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 22-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Murray now on first down. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Throwing now is Murray. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Devon Godshaw getting in there and dropping him. 
And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try to take you out of that. And he'll get seven yards from 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. Anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Raiders kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answer the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. The Pats at the line, ready to go. The offense running out, and they are charged up ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally, I'd warn against getting complacent. They scored the last time out, but I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. In this case, he picks up a first down. But that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice substantial hit to jar that catch loose from it. Incomplete pass. Second down, this is Harris. And he muscled his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Looking to throw, Jones. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Harris running straight ahead. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Off the play fake. Jones rolling to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. A small bit of adversity here on it's been a strong drive as they come up second and 12. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave them still about eight or nine to go on third down. Now come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Now Jones on third down. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Former Arizona Wildcat Folk gets this one to go, and they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3.
These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny when we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuff to animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Call it a three-yard game, and that'll make this a second down. This one back into the end zone. The Patriot defense has a touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Now a dump off here complete, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards the pick up, first down. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Locates Ertz going across the middle. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Two yards the gain on the keeper and it's second down. Murray caught by the tight end Ertz and he's going to be taken down right at the 40 yard line the Cardinals on third down they've been okay two for three thus far they're up against a third and one situation they'll try and run for it with counter oh he's got a little daylight and he'll head out of bounds inside the 10 mark it down at the nine 45 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game, loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. On first and goal, they'll try the option left. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Moved back to the 10, they'll try on second and goal here. Murray. This will be caught at about the five. Touchdown! Tyler Murray with a touchdown throw to DeAndre Hopkins. And the Cardinals have cut it back within a score. Crater for the extra point. That slices the lead down to 17-10. So that drive goes 
average eight plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown from DeAndre Hopkins. On the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kid who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. On the give, this is Harris. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at him. Boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Open man, the tight end Henry. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And it's caught. Really nice gain on the completion. However, still third and goal that they face now. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call through the offensive. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Jonu Smith taking it in for a yard out. And the Patriots have taken a two-touchdown lead now. That's an old-fashioned death march there, partner. Took them a lot of plays, but hey, they did the job. And the defense always preaches getting off the field, making a play, and turning it back over to their own offense. Unable to do so. A long, sustained drive by the offense. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Now Kyler Murray ready to get back under center. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head, head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route too. Murray a give, this is Connor. And on the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Meanwhile, Murray's throw here complete into the hands of Ertz. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They run behind center with Cotter, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. 
Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play. The whole game. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to make it fourth down. They'll run for it with Connor. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as he'll wind up going backwards. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. Well, it was too far for a field goal try. You don't really gain a whole lot out of a punt, so I don't think you have much of a problem with that, do you? No, not at all. I think it's the right play, the exact right play, because... Even if you want to play defense and pin them deep, you know how hard it is for a punter to, to knock one dead inside the 10-yard line. That's not, uh, uh, that's not necessarily easily done. So I think going for it there was the right call. Harris starts the drive on the ground. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 53 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. They go play action here on first down. Completes it to Aguilar. He's going to get this down near the 25. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Mullen, and the Cardinals are going to take over at their own 41. So that changes things. You get the interception, and it's a boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. First and ten is counter. And a strong run there. So he'll take this all the way down to the 35. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 17-yard line. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. Now the Patriots are going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Murray going to throw. Screen pass to Connor. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. 
Murray now to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back at the 24. Jawan Bentley able to drop him for a loss of two, and that will bring up fourth down. Prater's kick is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Pats at the line, ready to go. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. The game clock sitting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two-minute warning. They hand this off to Harris. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Operating from the gun. Jones. And that is incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. They'll try and throw for it here. Complete. It's Henry. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Play action. Jones. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. I'll give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. He was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice gain. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. That's to Aguilar. Touchdown, Patriots. Nelson Aguilar. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Patriots will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead is up to 18 now. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was capped by the touchdown pass to Nelson Aguilar. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And a touchback as George elects not to return it. Well, the Cardinal offense is going to take over late in this first half. And Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit there. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there, but they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. First and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Murray's throw pulled in by Hopkins. Now the card's going to call 
another timeout, their second, as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. To throw again on second down. Murray, it's complete right side to Benjamin. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Again, they'll throw with Murray. And a throw there going to be incomplete. The touch of time there critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Here's the veteran punter Lee as he sends this one away. And a fair catch called for him made just outside the 15-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. To throw is Murray. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal four and take it. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Patriots take over. Nelson Aguilar and company getting set to go again on offense now. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards. But, hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. Frankly, I don't know that this defense knows what to do anymore. Just look at their body language out there. The passing game has absolutely been relentless throughout. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. They run with Harris. They'll get this down to the 38. But that was the problem for the start a new set of downs. It was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Now he's going to drop this down to Harris, middle of the field. He'll be hit. 33, five yards on the play. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. What a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. He'll wind up getting two there as he does it himself and picks up the first. This is Harris. And the result here, a 
pickup of eight leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 87 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. A give to Harris. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. But a spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Two yards on the touchdown there as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Murray now. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Murray. Escaping the pressure right. Shifts past him at the 45. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. To throw, it's Murray. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size, you can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. From the gun, Murray. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Matt Judon able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face the challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. A 
And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And they will remain well, well behind. So an eight-play drive gets them down there, but play number nine, that winds up a missed field goal. And they definitely move the ball well. That's a drive where you hate to come away with nothing. Now the throw here to his running back. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Jones now throwing on first down. He's going to let this go back at the end zone. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. I throw, but he makes the catch. And they're going to have another first down as it was made here at the Cardinals' 15-yard line. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. Well, up big, but still not hesitating to take some shots downfield, CD. I guess they really want to hammer home their dominance in this one. Yeah, that much is apparent, partner. If they keep completing throws like that, they'll keep that gap awfully wide as they've established already. Now a first down carry for Harris. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and two, first down marker at the five-yard line. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short guard. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Patriots just continue to roll. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit, and then in hide and see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Kind of picked themselves up from that one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On the option, it's Murray. And he is going to lose yardage here. It was Matt Judon that time who worked his way to blow that play up. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. The football belongs to the Cardinals as we get set to rejoin the action in quarter number three. Now on second and 13, Murray. Screen pass to Connor. And oh, a little spin cycle. Room to run now. And he's got another first down tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 41-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. So in Pat's territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. To throw is Murray. Oh, good move. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this 
drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. Murray now on first down. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And now the red flag out on the field. We'll have a challenge forthcoming. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Throwing on first down is Murray. Finding Green complete. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray caught by the tight end. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker, fourth down. So many things go into making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being was a big start and then a nice tackle to finish things off. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Now Murray off play action. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the mask here come the flags and I believe this is going to be a first down so a potential big play by this defense wiped out by the face mask and disappointing because it was so unnecessary they had the sack but the officials are definitely keeping a close eye on the quarterback especially the referee they were able to spot that one immediately it's a gain of three on what will be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Once again, it's Connor. And I don't think he got in. He did not. They mark him short of the goal line. Third and goal. Try to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. Connor is in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. He finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Greater for the extra point. And that will cut this lead down to 25. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. On oh, the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. So already not the best to kick returns there, but that penalty, that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal field position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goal post. What every offense wants to do in this situation, get two first downs to help out with field position at the least. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. They're still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. 
Now Jones. Open man to tight end Henry. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A really nice gain of 25 yards. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. He was brought down by Kamu Grugier Hill. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. The offense on third down tonight, six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This will be third and five. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. 123 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Throwing Jones. And caught by Henry. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 25 yards there on the catch and run. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. He got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like, that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. Parker's got it for a New England touchdown. From 17 yards out. And the Pats go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Full connects on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And his throw is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Yeah, that will be incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. They're going to run. Here's Connor. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And the Patriots take over. They're going to have terrific field position. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. A lot of credit, though. They've stopped him two out of. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And the Cardinals are going to get this back to their own 34 yard line. Now they get a fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other. But it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. On second and ten, Murray hurts over the middle. 
five yards. Now it's third and five. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. From the gun on third down, Murray finding Ertz again. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Throwing again, Murray. A quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Murray going to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. Now Murray's got to have this one. Locates Ertz going across the middle. And he is going to have the Cardinals first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Again, they'll throw with Murray. It's complete to Hopkins. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. To throw again on second down. Murray. And this throw incomplete. The defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Murray to throw on third and one. Got a man. It's McBride complete. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Now a first and ten at the 11. To throw, it's Murray. Buying time to his left, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. To try again after the sack. Murray, yeah, a quick throw here, that's complete. A game of eight there on the play, and now we've got a third of four. And search your four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Murray. Open man, Green, he's got it. Touchdown, Arizona. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Cardinals get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. Extra point good by Kleiner, and that will cut this lead down to 25. So that one a 13-play drive in total, and it winds up with a touchdown for Arizona. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Pats at the line, ready to go. But not that any of the points would be needed, but CD, they've got enough time left here. They could definitely score on this drive, maybe even an ensuing drive as well, if they really want to drive home this landslide victory. Yeah, we're certainly about to see just how aggressive they want to be here down the stretch. And what some coaches do is they try to meet it halfway meaning they want to continue to run their offense, but they'll put in a lot of backups to do it, and then tell the opposing coach, hey, I had to get them some work, too. I can't just let them sit over in the sidelines all the time. rushing for him now as his big night continues. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and ten at the 44-yard line. And he finds Parker here, complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27. 
This one probably not the close game you would expect or hope to see in prime time, CD. But of course, that wasn't their intent in preparing for this one. They said they felt like their offense was ready to put up some points. And my goodness, it has been a dominant display in front of the national audience. Yeah, they bought it, and it certainly came to fruition, didn't it? They've been dominant in so many ways in this one. If you weren't paying attention to this, Chris, before, you certainly are now after seeing this type of victory from them. Again, it's Harris on second down. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat on blocks, allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make the play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, on the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. On for the extra point is Folk. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that winds up a seven play drive all told. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And a touchback as Georgia elects not to return it. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they scored some points and there's some plays they can build on. Moment through the game plan actually work. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Murray now to throw. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And they're going to get this up to midfield. The Cardinals are going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Here's Murray from midfield. And he finds his tight end. It's Hurts. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Throwing again on second down. Murray. And this will be swung out here for Connor. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 30. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. Now Murray again. That's complete to his running back, Connor. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one certainly was and I think both sides compete against each other all the time you go to each other in practice obviously your training camps your off season but on game day you both want to show your best and I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense a complete team victory So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA.